page 52, section 1. Hi, this is Dr. Robinson, and today I'm showing you how to deal with a world history with lots of maps and tables and graphics. And if I was to go down throughout this, it won't even read anything. Uh, so if you're visual, I'll see if I can uh, move my mouse with this without Jaws having too much of a fit. And visually, you can see a map right there. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. And then all the text is uh, in a box, and it will not even read that box. If I wanted to pull just the text out, I could do a Control A, uh, copy this, go into a new document, and I could keep text only with an Alt H to home, V to paste, and T to keep text only. That's one way to deal with it. But uh, that will not do any good for the map. So I'm going to show you uh, another way that you can just stay in this document and deal with it also. Control Home. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I've already opened this up. Joss has already told me how many objects and tables in here and checkboxes that have nothing to do with anything. You can't use uh, <laughs> any particular command on that other than what I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do to pull up all the objects in this document is Control Shift O. A P W H outside greater D P Q prompt 2020. I'm just going to hush him up because I already know he's going to tell me everything of just where I've went to where I'm going right now. So I'm just going to down there on the barrel. Doc image one. P N G 6.57 inches wide by 5.83 inches. And hush him up. Uh, so he's got this information. It's an image. I know that. So I'm going to deal with that image right off the bat. Enter picture 7.152 inches wide by 4.2. And it tells me all with that text wrapping behind text button. And now it pops me in. Administer Taiwan blank. The recent Japanese active has been under our coastal plains. The rest okay. is all native Taiwan Taiwanese blank. To open the mountains and bring the natives under imperial control. So let's need... do it again. Let's say I finish with uh, this box of information. I can go ahead and control shift O again. Control shift zero. Whoops, let's try that again. Inline objects dialog. List one, list view, image one. PN dot shift six seven point one four inches wide by three point eight. Okay, and let's just hit enter. Enter picture six point five six nine inches wide by five point eight two six inches high. The object Same issue, and it tells me about the object. Escape APWH outside greater DPQ prompt two thousand twenty. Now you can first try to down arrow to see if you can get into it. Page fifty four, section nope. three. Doc shift seven blank. Document two. So I'm gonna go ahead and control shift O again. Doc shift seven graphic inline objects dot. I shall not go down to the first doc. Doc shift six seven enter, enter. picture six point five six nine inches. Okay. You're gonna insert space P C. If you have not enabled Picture Smart, you're gonna to have to enable it. It'll give you the box that says, "Do you want to enable this?" Just hit yes. Let's go. Insert space P C. Space P. Picture Smart. Picture Smart is in progress. P N G. Base sixty. P N G. Tab to more results. More results link. Enter A P W H outside greater D P Q prompt two thousand. Now it's gonna tell me a whole bunch of garbage. P N G. Base sixty four. Nine J four R S K Z J R G. Down arrow quickly right into the document. Heading level. Heading level. Document one. Source, Emperor Yangtze, letter and, to a kid. And it reads flawlessly to you. So insert space PC, and there are a lot of objects in this one particular document uh, that our student was struggling with. So I'm doing this recording for everybody so they can know if you're just down arrowing and you just hear object, 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 and you think you can't access it, you can with Control Shift O and then insert PC. Okay? Or excuse me, insert space PC. Hit escape. Escape. A P W. So I'm gonna go table with that. text wrapping. Yep. A P W H outside greater D P. Escape. A P W H outside greater D P Q prompt 2022. Docs read only. Image one. P N G graphic. Image one. P N G image. Yeah. The problem with me hitting control is it immediately opens the paste options. Well, if you're the student, just don't hit that control key. Otherwise, you really do need to listen to those ridiculous paste options. You have to escape out of the paste option in order to do your insert space PC. And this is uh, going to give you all the uh, names that are here in the map, but a blind student must have this map tactile out for them. And then of course have a key uh, telling you where Beijing is uh, or Korea or Tibet and all of the names on here. But in the meantime, the blind student can figure this out with once again, insert space PC. Space P picture smart picture smart is in progress. PNG base sixty four okay. nine J four A S K Z J R G more results link. The more results enter. Enter A P W H outside greater D P Q. Wait patiently. 
PMG, base 64, 9J4, ASK, ZJRG, heading reference, the Malayal options, Russian Empire. Okay, and so right off the bat, it tells you this is the Russian Empire. In line with text. Yeah, and so it's going to tell you the text wrapping options. With text, full island, oh, oh, it's on top page, see more. Yep. Casper. Okay, now it's going to go ahead and tell you all the information that's actually here. So it's literally reading that uh, paste options box that was uh, open. So just know that the above information you don't really need. Uh, what's nice about this is it does give the student all the names, but once again, they must have a tactile representation of this. So once again, the great commands on any document that has a lot of objects. Shift Control O pulls up all your objects and you can go down to one object at a time. And then when you open the object, insert space, PC, it will uh, do picture smart on it and it will give you the words to the actual work. Okay, so that is how you deal with a lot of objects or checkboxes that are not really checkboxes or boxes, and that's how you deal with those images. Okay, hope that helped.